Today's project, we're gonna work on a Konami Herculite 1.5, and the goal is to upgrade the batteries on it before they go dead. Once they go dead, you have to have an EL0 key, and these are very hard to find, and getting fewer, uh, they die, and then uh, you can't replace it, so. We're gonna put in new batteries, and upgrade them so that down the road you can just keep replacing the batteries before they get low and we're going to put in huge batteries so the intervals in between will be much greater. So we're going to start out with a working machine and hopefully we're going to end up with a working machine when we're done. Um, of course we get a bonus round. Okay, time to take it apart. So, open it up, shut it off. Gonna open up the logic box. There's a little screw to take out. I've already taken that out. And you can slide the entire logic board out. These are the three batteries that we're going to uh, put an upgrade on. We're gonna go from the little coin cells like this to uh, something more substantial. We're gonna upgrade to some of the lithium ion double A size, they're axial batteries. Uh, I get mine from this place. Uh, they've got the best price that I've found on batteries anywhere online, and they're quick. I'm happy with them. You're gonna need six pieces of heat shrink tubing. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add some solder onto, onto the battery pads. So leave the batteries intact because that's what's going to maintain the memory while we're doing this. If you take a battery out, it'll lose the memory and then you will need the EL0 key. your heat shrink over the battery and the leads something like that all right so we've got heat shrink tubing on to insulate it and then I like to bend the leads 
a little bit, curve them down. And then uh, I like to use a little bit of flux. Now I know the solder comes with flux on it, but it just makes the job go a little bit nicer. So now you need to pay attention to polarity. There's a plus, the plus is on this end and the minus is on this end. So with the three tabs is the plus end. And I've got the plus end of the battery going to the three tabs. And I'm gonna solder that in. All right, we've got a good solid connection. All right, now we're gonna go for more batteries. Again, the plus end of the battery goes to the end of the holder with the three tabs on it. Now for our last battery, it has to be folded the opposite directions so we still get the plus end to the three tabs. And now this will give us access to the coin cells. We don't want to leave the coin cells in there. We don't need two batteries in each position. The goal is to replace the coin cells with the giant batteries. So now that they're all securely attached, now we can start taking the coin cells out. And they'll just stay out until at some future date when you decide to keep checking your battery levels. And to do that, we got 3.5 on here. When you start seeing them get down to 3.0, replace them. These, these batteries we're taking out are at 3.0, so it was time for them to go. Um, and what you can do when it is time to do that, you can never lose power on that. So when it's time to change these big batteries out, go buy another set of the coin cells, put the coin cell back in, make sure it's firmly seated and correctly connected. So you're keeping the memory powered up, put your coin cell all the way in, change your big lithium ion battery, and then take that coin cell back out. But this is a way to keep power on the whole time and not lose your memory. All right, so if we did this right, we can put it back in the machine and it should power right up. Well, it should load up. It'll take a while to load, but it should not have any issues. And we'll power it up.
right where we left off. So when you're doing it, one of the big pointers is don't screw up the polarity when you're soldering on the new batteries. If you hook up the new battery, even for a split second the wrong way, uh, you'll corrupt the memory and then you've just caused the problem we were trying to avoid. So go slow, pay attention, it's all in the details, no need to rush. Take your time, do it right, and you'll have a great success. Thanks for watching.